So first, let's do an overview of Rack. There's a lot of enterprise use cases being discovered uh, through with generative AI throughout this past year. Uh, this includes some different use cases. This includes stuff like taking unstructured data and doing document processing and extraction. This includes asking questions over your knowledge base and getting back an answer with sources and citations. This includes engaging in some sort of conversation with a context augmented agent. Uh, this also includes using LLMs as autonomous pieces to help uh, automate different types of workflows they used to do manually. And so what we're focused on is a lot on this retrieval augmentation use case, which is about indexing your private data and being able to, for instance, ask questions of, over it, or basically being able to ground any sort of answers that the model gives in relevant context that you own. So let's walk through some of these, th this paradigm. And just to reiterate, retrieval augmentation is basically where you fix the model itself. So you take a pre-trained model like OpenAI, ChatGPT, Cohere, the recent early announced Gemini model by Google, and then you fix the model and then you figure out how to actually take your data and put that as context into the input prompt of the LLM. So you're basically constructing a data pipeline from your source data into the input context window of the language model. We'll also briefly touch on fine tuning, which is another paradigm for basically improving the model or augmenting it with both knowledge and also reasoning and style capabilities, where you actually upgrade the weights of the network. So it changes based on any sort of training data that you give it. We'll touch on this briefly. A lot of Lama Index is focused on retrieval augmentation, but we do also think about fine tuning, especially in the context of actually optimizing your whole RAG pipeline. Just to reiterate, Lama Index is a data framework for LLM applications. It's a data management and query engine for your LLM application. So given a storage system, like Active Loop, a vector database, uh, we build the orchestration components around the storage system combined with your language model to actually help you build any sort of uh, LLM maps that we just mentioned over your data. Uh, again, this includes components like data ingestion, data structuring, as well as data querying. So the data ingestion, again, connects your existing data sources, data formats, loads it into a centralized document container, in terms of data structures, we're able to process, store, and index your data into a storage system like ActiveLoop. And then on the query side, we give you both basic and advanced retrieval algorithms to actually build simple to advanced RAG and agent interfaces uh, over your data. So that's an overview of Lama Index. And now let's dive a little bit into how RAG works, at least the basic stack. What exactly are the components that are happening? So. Here's a basic stack for building, let's say, a question answering system over your unstructured data. And for the sake of example, let's say it's just a bunch of PDFs. This consists of two components. Uh, one is data ingestion, and the second is data querying, which is retrieval and synthesis. You can basically do all of this, at least the basic stuff in five lines of code in Llama Index. But of course, we offer much richer tooling around pretty much every part of the stack to basically help you build more advanced capabilities over different use cases. Data ingestion means that you take an input document and then you split up this document into a set of even chunks where each text chunk uh, is a piece of text. And then you want to generate an embedding for each chunk. For instance, using an embedding model like OpenAI embeddings, hugging face sentence transformer models, uh, or any of the other uh, state of the art embedding models. And then you want to take each text chunk along with metadata and of course the embedding and then store that into a vector database like ActiveLoop. The next step is once the data is stored after the ingestion piece, then you want to, given a user query, first do retrieval, where you find the top K most similar chunks from the vector database collection, and then you plug it into the LLM response synthesis module, right? So given a user query, you first use the vector database uh, to fetch the relevant context from, from the storage system. And then you take that context and you figure out a way to stuff it into the input prompt of the LLM. 